Tyler Grant here with Dynamic Training Strategies. Welcome to the Training Chris Evolution. Villanueva. I work for Thor Global Defense Group and Nisa Guns. I uh, sell online orders and uh, do some partial gunsmithing and, and assembly. Um, I would say the relation between uh, not so much the drop, but your line of sight versus the cant, not cant, but uh, the barrel. Uh, and where they interject as far as trajectory where a good point of zeroing is uh, generally I thought uh, when you see the yardage on the rear side if you just put it on that that's where it'll go uh, I didn't realize that if you do it in shorter distances if you do some simple math it can be actually more effective than if you z truly zeroed it at said distance from the distance that it was it was plausible in the sense that the distance it's it's something that you would find yourself in a home or not so much a confined space but in a, in a realistic distance it's not so much within two arms width but it's something if somebody comes in my house and I see them or if I'm in a mall or a hallway or something and something's happening it's it's a it's a respectable distance they're not gonna be off a hundred yards if I find myself in that situation I'm gonna get out of there surprise worried uh, a little bit surprised I knew the physics of it, it was going to work, but I didn't realize the grouping would be that good without said optics. Gotcha. Uh, I felt that from what I was bringing to the table, uh, what we corrected, it did mitigate a lot of stuff. Um, I, From what I thought was okay, obviously it wasn't. Uh, the stance that I was told from you was a lot better. Cool. Because, why was it better? Um, my walking, uh, not so much doing follow-up shots, but if you do three or four, uh, I did continue to walk because the recoil would move my body, and even if I'm holding it, if I have a good stance, um, if you lock your body in said way, it, it uh, pretty much everybody, um, whether you're an avid shooter or if you just wanted to buy an AR-15 or you just wanted to protect your home, um, I feel that if you go over basically everything that not necessarily that you would need, but everything that would, if nobody else, if I was the last person on earth and all I had was said weapon, I would be sufficient. And, and I would say that it's it's very uh, eye-opening. There's a lot of things that I myself thought I knew and not necessarily was corrected on, but uh, there were certain things that I need to work on and, and was brought